Welcome back to Every Boosted Motion, guys. And today I'm gonna talk about everything wrong with my C63. Uh, yeah. So once again, it is what it is. This isn't a dislike video. This is gonna be a video on pretty much purchasing a C63 and some things that you should look for to make sure that you don't run into a kind of a bad deal. But anyways, guys, hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boosted Motion, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. So, I want you guys to know some of this stuff that I'm going to talk about I already saw when I went to go look at the car. So, that's why I already knew I was getting a really good deal, even though I'm, I'm going to have to pay for a few maintenance items. So, the first thing I want to talk about is the tires. Yes, I knew all four tires were worn on the inner edge. So, I spoke to the, the guy and I got to talk him down about $1,000. Um, thousand dollars from the total price of the car because I knew there were some things some issues that I saw and I wanted to see what I can actually get away with so talked them down but these tough tires are worn on the inner shoulder I could end up replacing the tires all four some of you guys will say boost I've been cheap replace all four but this is also a alignment issue which I probably, probably pretty much already know um, probably might end up flipping the tires putting this edge on that edge because look how smooth this is like wasn't even being used these tires are a little bit old based on the date too uh, not that old. Uh, 13th week of uh, 2018. So it's about three years old for these tires. But I'm going to end up uh, taking a look at some of the more stuff on the car. I could talk about the second thing, the rotors. But I knew the rotors had some life on it, but I already saw that the brake pad life was really good. So I actually talked them down saying, hey, listen, the rotors are probably going to need to be changed because they're so worn out and it, it filled with some dust and dirt. And he has stated, well, you know, we'll, we'll come down on price for that for you. So, yeah. But anyways, let's continue. Let's see what else we can find. This is also something else wrong with um, my car. I didn't catch this originally, but someone uh, spray, spray painted the calipers red. They're originally silver. And they spray painted red and they didn't even do really much of a good job at this. I could have did a better job in this. But that's another thing that I noticed about it that is a damn issue. Alright, let's go and see what the next thing wrong with my car. Alright, so here's the third thing that I see that's wrong with the car. So, the rear tires, once again, I already kind of knew. This is why I got a deal. Some people are already asking how much this car already costs. Anyways, all these tires are down to the wear bar. These are called the wear bars, guys, in between the thread. And there's more wear on the inner, the inner side of the car, the inner side of the tire, than the outer. And there is some misalignment here too, which is kind of confusing. So I'm assuming that this tire probably was overinflated, and then alignment went off, and now it's eating up the the inner shoulder of the tire. This tire is pretty much done. It needs to be thrown out. Uh, I might do burnouts or something like, like that in this. Because look at the tire edge. Looks right there and right here smooth. All right, let's go and see what else is wrong with the car. All right, guys, so I want to show you some other things that's wrong with the car. So the person who had this car also installed carbon fiber caps or overlays on the mirror. And this one has lost all its shine. The other one, though, looks super shiny. Very super, super shiny. Look how that one looks. So either it was damaged or whatever. Maybe the other one was stolen. I don't know. But both ways, I'm going to have to buff that one out in a future video just to get it to have a better look shouldn't be too hard to bring back the luster of this so anyways let's go to the next part all right now if you guys don't notice right um well also i don't know when i'm gonna put this video in, up but i also installed spacers on the car and i also installed installed mud flaps so definitely go check it out if you want to go check that out for the channel but anyways um if you guys don't notice I don't really have much chrome on this car because the last owner seemed like they did a lot of the chrome delete look from I do got tints all over but also have I believe these cars come with chrome here I could be wrong I don't think they do I don't know can't really remember but I know they come with chrome here right so they put this chrome delete on and they did they had chrome at the bottom they removed that also and then they added these little inlets here and I, like they came black i believe and they added this trunk spoiler 
which they also wrapped in um, black. They added that. They they chrome deleted this one. And I don't know if you can buy these already black, but they're definitely black. Uh, unless they got it off a black edition uh, or the midnight edition. Because for the C63s, they have like a... Uh, a package where you can get everything as a night appearance package so a lot of the chrome would just come black from factory but what they chose to do on this c63 because the 2015 they did stuff like this they wrapped it with the black tape so i don't like i don't like this it's not the best i mean they tried to do their best maybe it was hits in here for so long but you know some of this stuff I see, they try to do their best, and I'm not going to get mad at them about it. But I do see some of the defects or whatever, so I don't really like that too much. Hey, they go boost in motion. <laughs> but they also added the black thick, black decals there. So I think they might have just purchased these because those would be super hard to paint, and they just wrapped everything else black. So not really digging the condition of that so much, so eh, it is what it is. All right, so here is the biggest issue on the car, to be honest with y'all. This is the biggest issue on the car that I have with it, all right? Biggest issue that I have with the car is both the rear bumper and the front bumper was hit. Um, if you guys take a look, look at that color of the rear bumper. Even though the auto check and Carfax show that this car wasn't hit, this car was definitely hit. I saw a couple of over spray marks certain places. I will have to take a look and see where they are again. But there are over spray marks. Like, here's an overspray mark. Even though they added this onto there, because this is an added on piece, so you can see the 3M and everything, you can see that there was overspray at some point with the tape that's on the tape. So, this rear bumper was repainted. Now, the front bumper now also was repainted. Let me show you guys. They did a pretty good job with the front bumper. I don't know exactly what they might have done, but they definitely did a good job with the front bumper. Once again, it looks a little bit differently. A um, little different, but if you take a look, look at this stuff. Some people stated that this might just be rock chips hitting here and messing it up, but I don't think so. I think what happened is they re they repainted this bumper, and those were the spots with the bubbles in it, and those bubbles pop, and they show the paint that's under it. So I believe a lot of this, this front bumper was repainted. So I do want to get this stuff repainted in the future. Either it's going to be all black, or this silver part is going to be black like the, the S additions i noticed that part too also thinking about changing the whole from a uh, grill to the panamera grill but to be honest i don't know what i really want to do with this car still yet but i do want to bring back some of its luster also on top of that this part right here is cracked so i don't know what they did here but they try to fix it or whatever they do they do but um they tried to fix it back and notice how the color is a little different because as these cars age um, these plum place plastic materials will lose the luster and the color of, of it. It pretty much get uh, sunburned. So I noticed that too, and I would I would really want to get this painted also. And here's also the overspray mark. If you guys could take a look and see, see, I don't you can see it right there. It's right here. It's an overspray mark right there. So this is how I know that the car was definitely in a hit. But here's the thing, right? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I know y'all probably like, oh, Boost got the shittiest C63 out there. I got this car. This car was about 38, 39. So I'm financing. It's a couple thousand above it. But it's at the bottom of the depreciation. And it's a one owner, which now I'm the second owner, clean title. I'm going to take care of the car, of course, and try to keep it as OEM as possible. But when I go to resell this car, it's going to show up as a clean title one owner car so i'm gonna get the book value for that and that's what i'm looking to do in the future that's why i could have got a cleaner one for another ten thousand dollars more but i didn't want to deal with spending ten thousand dollars more knowing that i'm gonna get hit with a higher depreciation if i do go to trade the car in or sell it to one of those aftermarket sellers in the future but outside of that guys that's pretty much all the issues and problems that i see with the car nothing too crazy Nothing really that really stands out. Only thing that's really left is like the, I have to change the serpentine belts inside. They squeak a little bit. So I'm gonna change those belts, um, hopefully in the up, up, up upcoming video. The interior is in good condition. I don't really have a problem with the interior. It has like a one little burn or a cut mark right here. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Yeah, they have a little burn mark right here. But the interior hasn't been smoked in. At least I don't smoke any smoke. The interior is in good condition, man. I have no problem with the car, man. It is what it is. But outside of that, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the video I made, 
from the Boost in Motion family, definitely hit the subscribe button with the bell notification and press all, please, so you don't miss any videos. I'm trying to upload videos between five to seven times a week, so I definitely don't want you guys to miss out on that at all. If you're part of the Boost in Motion family, continue to show your love and respect, and if you want to be part of the Boost in Motion family, definitely join in, tap in. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll say that, guys. We have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. You know where to contact me, Boost in Motion on IG, Facebook, and Boost in Motion on gmail.com. Otherwise than that, guys, you have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost in Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you.